Hey, it's Katie, and I look like I'm a floating head right now because everything is so black behind me. <laughs> um, I'm currently on my way to the YouTube space LA. Um, I have a really bad cold, but um, there's only really one thing that will get me out of bed when I'm very, very sick, and that is Game of Thrones. Uh, tonight at the YouTube space, Natalie Dormer is going to be doing a Q&A about her new movie, The Forest. Uh, and I am so excited for that. And they're also gonna be showing the movie. So I really hope I get to meet her. If I get to meet her, I, I'm gonna try not to freak out, but uh, that would be amazing. She's like the most beautiful human being on the planet. So it would be so amazing to get to meet her. So I don't know, I'm just vlogging my night tonight just in case I get the chance to meet her. I can dream big, okay, and I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so on the way, and uh, I guess, Let's see how it goes. All right, here with Whitney, we are here in the front row. There's this crazy light that's on us ready right now. Ready to see Natalie Dormer take so on the chorus. Ready. I've been so excited to see this movie for the longest time. Yeah, I was saying, time. I was gonna ask Katie to see it with me anyway. <laughs> Thankfully, the YouTube space did it for us. There's no two bigger Natalie Dormer fans in Los Angeles than us. So. She's gonna be right in front of us. Right in front of us. Literally five feet in front of our faces. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. All right, this place is filling up. It is packed. But we're, in, we're the in the front row. Front, front, front row. So excited. We're dedicated Natalie Dormer. We are huge dedicated fans. And hopefully we'll get a chance to ask her a question. That would be amazing. What would you even ask? I don't know. We were trying to think of some of the car. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. What do you her. ask? She's so smart. She's been asked everything. Everything. What do you ask her? You can't ask about Game of Thrones. That'd be really, really lame. I said I was going to go vintage and ask her a question about the tutors. <laughs> That's what I said. I would do too. I love her on the tutors. Gosh, I just want the movie to start. I just want it all to start. I'm so excited. All right, so we just finished the movie. It was terrifying. I was literally sitting like here with like Katie was this screaming the eye. entire time. I can't help it. I just get so freaked out in horror movies. Like, Well, you know, I played Five Nights at Freddy's on my channel and everyone knows how scared <laughs> I get. But, okay, the Q&A is next, and we're all just waiting for Natalie Dormer to come out. So exciting! A very warm welcome to Natalie Dormer. She looks super fancy, guys. Sorry, guys, I look a bit overdressed. I was just at the People's Choice Awards, so... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm dressed like, wrong, not you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, as we're chatting too, if you have any questions, we'll get to a point where we'll take some questions from the audience as well. So make sure you're thinking about some of those. But first, I just want to talk about, obviously I mentioned some of the other projects that you've done. And this one is totally different. What was it about this film that made you get really excited about being a part of it? Well, I was looking for an opportunity to uh, helm a feature. I'd already done it on stage um, and on TV. So I was looking for my first lead in a feature film. And when I got the script for The Forest, I was just really taken by um, the psychological elements of it. Yes, it's a horror, but it's a psychological horror. And these thriller suspense elements, I love so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just took a selfie with Natalie Dormer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so crazy. Uh, so she did her Q&A. Uh, she was hilarious and um, I guess uh, she just kind of hung around for a second and I just kind of popped up and was like, hey, can I get a selfie with you? And she said yes, and I got a selfie with her. Holy moly, this doesn't feel real, but that is so crazy. I didn't get to talk to her, really. I just, because everyone then wanted photos, so I kind of started a giant stampede toward her. Sorry, Natalie Dormer, but I really wanted a photo. <laughs> and I got one and, oh my gosh, that was awesome. The movie, of course, typical Katie, I was like, hiding and I was so freaked out the entire time but that was so much fun. I still look like a floating head it's because I'm wearing a black jacket. <laughs> it's so dark behind me I'm in the car driving home. Crazy night oh my gosh this, this was so worth getting out of bed for. Um, hopefully I don't get Natalie Dormer sick oh gosh <laughs> don't worry I, I leaned away. <laughs> Could you imagine if like the next week she's like, I got a cold and then I'd feel all bad and stuff. I'm not contagious, I swear. Uh, but yeah, this was totally worth coming out to tonight and holy moly, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got to meet Natalie Dormer. That's amazing. So there you go. I'm really happy I vlogged my night and uh, could 
take a little bit of video for you guys. Uh, I wish I had me meeting her on camera. I should have had someone film it, but I needed my phone to take a photo. And you know, in those type of moments, you just kind of have to make a decision. And I did, and I got a photo with her, which is so awesome. But I want to know from you guys, if you could meet one famous person, uh, like what would be the one person that you just really, really want to meet and one that you'd die to take a selfie with? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you